And here the wind whipping out there. We sure we want to go out? Yeah, of course. You're just going to pretend to want to go out, aren't you? Steve, are you coming? T-Rex, can I give you a lift? Steve, are you going to go out? I don't think Steve's going to go out. T-Rex, of course, is going out. Steve. All right. Good cat. We need you. Now, this is pretty interesting. It's 35 degrees at just about 9 o'clock. It was colder last night ahead of the snow than it is now. That's occluded air that's come in. It was an occlusion. I talked about that yesterday, triple point low. So what we had was <laughs> old, cold, and warm mixed together. It came in on the backside of just enough snow to track a Steve. There he is, chasing leaves. He loves to do that. So we did have fun out here last night, and I was quite busy making time lapse of the snow coming through. <laughs> and now what's going on, there's a 997, that old triple point low in the Gulf of Maine, deepening, and there's very cold air aloft down here on the ground. At my house south of Boston, it's in the mid 30s, but the summit of Mount Washington is about zero with a wind gusting to 80 miles an hour. And there's some snow clouds around. We can see them on the radar in uh, clear air mode right there. There's a snow flurry coming through. And so it is snowing, snowing like crazy at Jay Peak. And today is the sixth day in a row with New England snow. <laughs> Look at that branch just blew up here. So we're gusting 30 to 40 miles an hour and even more than that in some spots. How's that ride? Mariners are gonna marin, <laughs> regardless of the weather. So I always talk about wind is air moving from high to low pressure. Where is the high pressure system? It's way out in Montana. So this has a lot more to do with just the fact that the, the air is all aligned. It's coming in from the Northwest at all levels of the atmosphere and it's mixing down, very unstable. And that's how it's gonna be. You see that cloud right there, instability cloud? They are here until further notice. There's an Arctic boundary right over New England and we're gonna have little perturbations. So it's gonna be a little bit of snow or snow squalls in the air off and on until further notice, probably till about Monday or Tuesday, so right through the weekend. So this morning, it's snowing in the central plains, places like Kansas and Oklahoma, low pressure on a front over the southern plains. And that low is gonna go just south of us tomorrow with some more snow for the south coast. T-Rex, are you saying that you'd like to go in now because it's so windy and so cold, you're not enjoying this experience? Well, see you later. <laughs> I did use the shovel a little bit last night right here just for the fun of it. Steve is having a ball. Shall I try and get out here? This, this is called knotweed. Ugh, it's all tangled up and Steve's all tangled up in it. And uh, knotweed, it's an invasive. Watch this, I'll try and throw it over and it won't go over. <laughs> what is it, Steve? How much snow? Yeah, just about a pause worth. Barely a pause worth. <laughs> I put it in the books as uh, about 0.4. Uh, that's about what we got on the cars too. Uh, the roads, not that bad. As I said, it's not even really freezing outside. Uh, but we got these flaky clouds that are gonna keep coming through. So let's go to the high resolution NAM uh, showing the, the snow showers all scattered around today. The steady snow in Northern New England will diminish. And then tonight, here comes another area of snow sliding along Long Island and Southern Connecticut and Cape Cod may get a dusting of snow tomorrow. It looks like an area of light snow. It doesn't look like it's going to be snow showers or anything intense like what we had last night. Uh, but then there are, there are intense snow showers developing in the afternoon just about anywhere coming off the Great Lakes all the way into northern New England. And then tomorrow night it kind of quiets down a little bit. And then Sunday, some more snow off and on more in northern New England as uh, the Arctic front is going to lift to the north with a new low coming across northern New England late Sunday into Monday. That's another Arctic boundary settling south. 
So all of these are capable of snow showers and more general upslope snow in the mountains. So it is a good weekend for skiing, but it's very unstable and it's so cold aloft. I think Mount Washington is gonna get to something like 20 below zero, probably tomorrow night into Sunday morning. And that will be the coldest so far. So when you're skiing late tomorrow, first thing Sunday, it's probably sub-zero at the, at the peaks of the mountains. So lower elevation with uh, southern exposure will be more comfortable, uh, even though the best snow is going to be up there where it's so cold. All right, and now let's go back to uh, the, the lower 48 with the Euro, which again is different today than it was yesterday. There's the system missing to the south tomorrow. Uh, another wave comes across northern New England. That is a wave on an Arctic boundary. Expect overachieving snows at places like Jay Peak Sunday night into early Monday. Time out. Watch a plane go by a chunky cumulus cloud. Love this. Look at the top of that cloud. Instability. Almost like April showers happening here. Might even have some grapple around today or something like that tomorrow too. All right, pick it back up Tuesday. High pressure right over us. Looks kind of tranquil. Nice day. Is it February vacation next week for a lot of people? That's an, a good day. And then Tuesday night, Wednesday, there's that ocean storm off to our south. Lifting a little farther north. Another system missing us to the north. So it looks like warm air advection here Wednesday, Thursday. With maybe some snow or even some light rain near the coast. And then Friday, here comes another front. Cold air coming in next Friday night, Saturday. Now, a lot of the guidance has had a storm next Friday or Saturday, and the Euro's just trying to say, oh no, we're just gonna have a front go by. But I'll tell you, the guidance is all over the place next Friday, Saturday. I think there's gonna be a storm, and we're gonna have a mixture of rain and snow changing to snow and much colder air again coming in for next weekend. Now we're at the final weekend of February, right? And then after that, it looks like most of the nation is warming up and March may come in like a lamb. May be quiet with a warming trend to start March, but there's still cold left in Canada. So a lot of action. We got more snow last night from this system than we did on Tuesday. And we did not see that coming even three days ago. So I guess the bottom line is expect the unexpected. Steve is having a ball. All right, I'll leave you with some time lapse. Well, first of all, we went for a walk yesterday and then some time lapse last night. I got a lot of editing to do, try and put this time lapse together. And off into the westerly wind, the flaky clouds. All right, thanks for watching. And Martin, I'm glad you recovered from your shock that it snowed on Nantucket and it identified that big bird yesterday as a, uh, a yearling herring gull big for a hairy gull to me, but you're the man. Thanks for the intel. Love the commentary. Keep it coming. Barbara Pru and Dennis, it may snow again tomorrow. I may be there. Maybe I'll go up to Scargo Tower tomorrow at this time. All right. Really fun instability. Looking like Vermont here in Boston. My fingers are freezing even though it's only 35 degrees. Those are snowflakes up there. Talk to you later. More and more and more. Oh wait, one more thing before the more and more. <laughs> Forgot to check the ice bucket. Uh, it's just barely kind of ice. And I'm gonna bring, I did a little shoveling last night during the storms. Uh, shoveling, right, it was just fun. Oh, all the snow blew out. There was snow and the snow blew out. I'm gonna put it in, it's probably about a point oh four precip. Yeah. Uh, so less than we thought. Could have been, could have been better, could have been worse. All right, now let's go to yesterday. All the rest of the videos from yesterday, last night. One twenty p.m. update. The blue sky has now faded. We have beautiful sky waves. The wind down near the ground, still from the west-northwest at about 15. Way up in the sky with those clouds, the wind is coming from the northwest at about 75 miles per hour as a clipper approaches Boston with squalls likely tonight. Yeah, halfway to sunset in the afternoon, the wind has just gone almost calm here. 
high pressure right over us. Picks up from the south tonight until that snow hits. Then it comes in from the west. We have convergent flow at the surface and a lot of air moving fast up in the sky. Will we get a pause worth of snow overnight? Well, I guess we know by now because this is the Inmar, which is always from the day before. What are you looking at, T-Rex? What do you see up there? Yeah. I can get them going just by saying stuff like that. Update on the lineup. Looking good. It's a classic car show everywhere we go. What is that, Rex? What is it? <laughs> Slow down. Stop. All right, look at these pieces of snow on the ground here. Ice, really. These fell off the branches. <laughs> the trees had like a half inch accumulation. The ground had nothing. What do you see, Rex? What do you see? Looks like those are your big uncles. <laughs> <laughs> I would come over with traffic and I don't trust Rex. They said 14 inches of rain at the Riviera in the last week. Yay, Tiger's playing. So that'll make the weekend a little more interesting. Hopefully you can make the cut. Steve, it's starting to snow outside. I need you to measure the snow. T-Rex, can you get Steve to come with us? He won't come. He says, I'm hiding my face. I'm the brown bag cat because you've humiliated me so many times. No, Steve, honestly, there's going to be enough snow for both of us. Come on, let's go. Let's get him, T-Rex. That is Virga. Precipitation leaving the cloud and evaporating before it hits the ground. Very dry air at the surface. Dew points are actually in the single numbers and teens, so the temperature in the 30s. Uh, but it's definitely cold enough for snow. It's just going to be less snow or it's warmer because warmer air holds more moisture. Anyhow, setting up the tripod now to get this to come in. Flag is still. Haven't had a good Alberta clipper in a long time, so for the occasion, beef stew. The high-res guidance is saying it would be here between nine and 10, and they did a really good job. It's 34 degrees just before nine. It says it's gonna rain and or snow. I think that's pretty accurate. So it's already over our head, it's evaporating, and Steve actually wants to go out. Go out. So the plan is, you can see it, just falling from the sky right there and evaporating. It's fascinating. Uh, the ice bucket kind of melted a little bit today, and I get this light, and I got that light up there. So I'm gonna try and put it someplace where I think that the lens won't get totally plastered. The wind up, just 5,000 feet is like 40, 50 miles an hour, and the, ha the flag is hanging still. What? Let's see. Not the entire way. Oh, here's the snow. All right, Steve just came out. Here's the snow. It just started just past 9 o'clock, and he came out voluntarily, and he sees the, uh, the flakes, and he's chasing them. I can't even see the camera with this light. Anyhow, it's begun. That was fast. It's not even nine o'clock, I don't think. All right, go ahead. I probably should have done a live YouTube, but I didn't even think of it. It's a lot of work. Should we close in on Steve a little bit? Because he is the star of the show. We want to see how much of a Steve we can cover. He's right under there. But I want to keep the flag too. It's gonna to be a challenge. All right. It's about nine o'clock, 34 degrees. The high resolution guidance said we were gonna get about an inch between nine and 11. I think most of it's gonna happen in just a really quick shot. I haven't had a decent Alberta clipper and I can't even remember the last time. They can come. He doesn't wanna do this. <laughs> So laying down, he's like 10 inches, and standing up, he's about 17 or 18. The anticipation is killing me. <laughs> I just got the uh, backup power source, hopefully generated. So you can see it coming in. That's the Prudential Tower right in the center there. And it's obs almost obscured. 
Those are my cameras that I put up there a long time ago. <laughs> Anyhow, this should be the real deal. It's about 935, but warmer air has definitely eroded it in the front side. Where's T-Rex? T-Rex wants to come out too. It's about 935 now, 33 degrees. The fact that we have warmer air here means less of the moisture will be wrung out. So Weir gets an inch in Merrimack. I'll be lucky to get a quarter or a half inch. Too jelly. As long as it covers Steve's paws. Those high-res models are unbelievable. <laughs> they said about 10 o'clock and it's just about quarter of 10. And I can see like right over there in Quincy, it's snowing like crazy. So finally, anticipation. Finally. Probably get more in the next 15 minutes than we get all day Tuesday. <laughs> Snarky. Seriously though, we haven't had a good wintertime instability index, wind decks, snow, squall shower in a long time with an Alberta clipper and a triple point low. Oh, don't tell me we missed all that time lapse. Something happened. Just past 10. I don't know how much you saw, but I was running back and forth with T-Rex in front of the snow, accumulating on Steve's back. Oh my goodness. Only as good as our technology. <laughs> the weather's acting exactly like the high resolution guidance said it would. Nice, intense. There's Steve on the left. Snow shower, not a squall. We picked up about 0.2 in the last 20 minutes, which is more than we got all day Tuesday. So we got that going for us. Try and play some more soccer with T-Rex. It's been very sporadic. Look at the flag now, it's down again. Interesting, isn't it? So we're in a little lull. Uh, every little burst of snow has an updraft, then a downdraft. And then the final updraft is about to come in. So the flag should pick up here about 10, 20 p.m. And there's one more little burst. I guess I'll let it roll for an another few seconds, minutes, hours, more and more and more before I measure the final for the night. Not boring. Just one of the ferry. Ferry's going home there. Tonight's report brought to you by Cape Cod Tech Vocational High School, Essex County Highway Association, and Boston Cruises. Actually, they got a new name. I forgot the name. Almost done. We interrupt this static shot at 1040 of the last burst of snow to bring you a little update. I just plowed that area as you saw in the time lapse a few minutes ago but I just wanted to show you in the other light because it's a nice light <laughs> what it looks like yeah T-Rex and Steve went in TK is still out should be ending in about five minutes or so and it's getting covered up again so this last burst is nice nice dendrites a nice four burst event. The best Windex wintertime instability index. Alberta Clipper that I can remember in a long time. Interesting, you get that little rainbow there. Rainbows do not form from snowflakes. So that's a little bit of moisture in the air. And the iPhone optical phenomena. Cool though. All right, where was I? I'm going to try and measure it before it ends, or as it ends. So we're not quite done yet. Wow. <laughs> that was the best 15 minutes of the night. This is going to be nearing an end. I'm going to have to measure it in a second, but let's just take a look over here. In the grass, just a hair over 0.5. So I'm going to call it a 0.4. And I do have the... Uh, snow in the rain gauge i'll melt it down if i come out to about a 0 0.04 or 5. maybe a little left but want to be a sponsor like cape cod vocational technical high school in harwich 
or Essex County Highway Association? Send me something warm and dry to wear. Kinko gloves brought to you by Lowe's. Actually, these were stocking stuffers. Thank you, Kevin, for these. Woo! Good night.